they're off in the Breeders' Cup Philly and Welcome Mare Turf. Welcome to the 2021 Turf. Racing Dudes preview of the Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Turf. I'm your host, Curtis Keller, a.k.a. Magic. And joining me now is one half of the Racing Dudes team, Aaron Halchum and Aaron. Big field of 12 here, including the defending champion, Odaria. Problem is, defending champion is all the way outside in post-12. Really tough field here, possibly tougher than what she faced last year. Do you agree with that sentiment? Is this a tougher group than what she faced last year? I really believe Adaria is facing a much tougher group this time around. I mean, you look at the race last year, you had Rushing Fall, who obviously was great, and that's the horse that Adaria had to beat. The rest of the field, I mean, it's a Breeders' Cup race. It's not like they were bad horses, but I don't think they were these kind of horses. And what I mean by that, we've got a lot more international horses coming in here. They look really, really good on replays and really, really good on paper. So Adaria, yeah, definitely up against it. Add in the fact she hasn't looked quite as good this year as she did last year coming into the race. And like you said, the 12-hole, uh, just one more reason to be like, oh, man, Adaria may be up against it a little bit this year. Well, she is a short, much shorter price than 18 to 1. She is 5 to 1 on the morning line. That doesn't make her the favorite. She's actually the fourth choice. You have Love and Love's Only You both at 4 to 1, but your favorite is the American Warlike Goddess at 7 to 2. And the trend with this race, Aaron, usually it's an international horse or Chad Brown trained horse that wins this. Warlike Goddess is neither one of them. Is she a bad favorite, a very beatable favorite, I should say, in this race? I, it's really tough for me, right? Because I've liked Warlike Goddess all year. I just think she's been breathtaking. She's been a lot of fun to watch. You know, I've seen her live a couple of times. Really, really fun to watch. It's a situation for me though, a field like this, I, I, no exaggeration, is probably five times tougher than what she's ever faced, uh, especially this year. I just feel like she is a favorite we can, we can beat here. Uh, I would love to see her win as far as a rooting interest. I would like to see that. Like I said, I, I am a fan of the horse. I'm just afraid she's up against it from an international side. So yeah, to answer the question, I do think she's a favorite uh, worth beating in the spot. Well, let's talk about some of those international horses. And two of them I just mentioned, I loves only you, looks like a strong, strong candidate in this race. But really, I care about your opinion. What do you think about loves only you and love? Well, I, I think the love exacta could be the play here. Love always wins, Magic. That's what I say. So, I, honestly, with these two horses, Love's Only You is the one uh, that just really jumped out at me when I was watching replays. Uh, and, you know, the international horses, you got to go on YouTube, search individually on their races, watch their replays. Love's Only You, man, th that horse just stands out. And, and, and that's the horse that I think is going to win this race. She is just super, super talented. She's faced maybe even tougher horses than what we see today uh, as well. So Love's Only You is going to be the top pick. As far as Love goes, this is a horse I kind of expected to go in the turf and face the boys. Didn't do it. Comes here. It's a much easier spot, I believe. Uh, but, you know, this is a horse that still has to face some very, very nice horses, tougher than what we usually see. Also a horse that hasn't won since Ascot, right? Has, has finished, uh, you know, in the money in the last three starts, but hasn't won. You know, Aiden O'Brien, Ryan Moore, those are the positives, no question about it. Horse has a lot of talent. If you really break it down and you really want to get, you know, gutsy on this, I think the six and the eight, love, loves only you, those might be the only two you need if you really want to narrow down this race. Well, that's a great for an exact, but say I'm a trifecta or superfecta better. There are a lot of options here with prices, Aaron. And, and I did mention Chad Brown trained horses tend to be the only Americans who can beat the Europeans, and they're usually born in Europe. So does it really count that much? But Chad Brown does have two in here, pocket square, the two horse. My sister, Nat, who might not be a name other people recognize immediately, but her sister, Sister Charlie, did win this race for Chad Brown in the past. Do the Chad Brown horses have a chance to even hit the board at those really delicious looking prices? Well, you know, my sister Nat's a horse that just kind of runs late and picks up the pieces. So, I mean, it's always possible that she gets up there for third or fourth. I don't think it's too likely. Uh, Pocket Square is one I'm kind of interested in, right? So the horse comes in from overseas to the Chad Brown barn, smokes an allowance field at Keeneland on her United States debut. Went straight to the grade one, just a game, was bet down to five to two, didn't run very well, got fit. Went back to the grade one, Diana, didn't run very well, got fit. Those were tough races though, right? So now you, you what they did the last two races are interesting. They, they dropped her down to allowance, she dominated. Then they put her in a grade three, she dominated again. Chad obviously has got a lot of confidence in this horse bringing her here. There's a few other spots this horse probably could have fit into uh, as well, but they, they're going to try it right here. Uh, I like the confidence. Maybe this is the, the Chad Brown horse at a price here that can get it done. 
and then, you know what? Not a Chad Brown horse, but going to Vegas on the front end might be interesting here as well. Thanks for joining us for this edition of the 2021 Breeders' Cup Preview Show. For previews of all 14 Breeders' Cup World Championship races, visit RacingDudes.com. Before you leave, hit the like on this video, hit subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you never miss a show.